Good afternoon guys, it's Jenny here from Just Jenny Journaling. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do the flip through of this um, custom order for Amy. It's a traveller's notebook um, with, it's got three inserts in it at the moment, but there is a fourth. Um, there is a fourth that can be used uh, as well. Uh, the idea, um, Amy's um, plan for this is that it's going to be like a, her planner. Um, and she wanted to be able to carry it about so we've done a little bag for it um, it's actually turned out a bit more chunky than I <laughs> imagined um, so I am probably going to probably advise her that perhaps she might or she might want to um, just use two of the inserts at a time rather than the three um, depending on what she's doing um, so I've done it in the I think it's the B6 wide um, size I haven't done one of these before I've normally just do the b6 slim um, so this is it it's actually she wanted lots of lace and Victorian ladies so that's what we've got so as you can see um, I've, I've made it in two pieces um, and concealed so the elastics are concealed in the middle um, it's hand sewn um, around uh, together and it has um, little bits of, of jewellery on it as well as you can see. So let me open it up and I'll show you. The um, There are four inserts all together. But uh, this is designed to carry three. And there are 60 pages in each. Um, so that will be th uh, 120, will it? Front and back. Um, I've tied it with this lace. For her I've done quite a long bow but if you wanted to cut it you want to cut it Amy please feel free but I just thought it looked quite nice like that and I've secured it um, with the little um, cluster of flowers and um, I don't know if you can see what I've done is I've got some uh, some of this lace it's uh, this lace here actually on the inside and this is, I don't know if you were to see it actually, it's layered. So it's got like a, a layer of sort of um, embroidered lace through the middle. And then I put little doily pieces underneath um, in sporadic sort of places um, as well. And then it's got this, um, there's a bit of doily piece underneath. And then on the top, it has this, it looked like a, I don't know if it's like a table mat or something, an embroidered table mat. But as soon as I saw it, I, I earmarked it for this project. So, and I picked it up in a little coastal town um, in um, Dorset, I think. Right, right. Uh, lots of people to say, um, I'm going to have to do this in two parts, I think, because it is huge. Um, and uh, so down below, I've, I've actually, I'm going to um, link a lady called Shilpa and her um her web her youtube is called crafty angel online and i saw her video which i've linked below where she used this design this is, this is uh, my sort of to, to make herself one and also saw the old lace stamperia on her on her youtube and it says really thank you shilpa give me the inspiration to do this one for amy so that's uh down, uh, down underneath as well so um so so um both parts of the cover have got this um white kind of lace and this the this pit that top bit's backed onto some upholstery fabric and then it's sewn um back to back um so the pockets here this little pocket is um a vintage lace from a lady on etsy called um carol i think crafty angel UK that is from her this um, this piece of lace here there's quite a bit of it was from a little goodie bag that she puts together I don't know if you can see how beautiful that is and I think this little bit on the back here this little vintage piece is gorgeous that's from her and there are little bits are dotted all the way through the journals um, so there's a mix of sort of um, vintage a mix of newer laces uh, all the vintage stuff comes from her just a little um, uh, cut out from a, a book that I have on Victorian life and I just collaged it really 
pop collaged it, loved it, popped it together. And there's a little doily there that I've found in a, one of the charity shops and I've sort of lined that corner pocket with it. This is one of the, um, the beautiful pieces of ephemera from the Stamperia Old Lace um, uh, paper pack that I've used. And we'll just go, this is the first one as you can see. And the nice thing about the Stamperia is that it's, it looks quite textured. Um, so oh, I'm struggling with these four. I'm actually behind the camera as usual. Again, down below, I've actually popped uh, the link of, to where I got the, this uh, little printout from. I think this one was from the Digital Mag Magpie. And I backed it onto sort of coffee dyed card, rounded the corners and um, inked it. Reinforced with uh, linen. Made linen and that's the and sort of layered here with a stamp uh, this is some is this stamperia that's from the old lace and just um, layers of linen, uh, lace little collage that I've done on the um, other I think that's on my um, yeah the video that I've just uploaded. This um, paper was tea dyed. Um, no, I just popped a tea dyed doily on it. I don't know if you can see just the uh, the print on that. A little picture here, um, an element of Victorian living from one of the little books I have. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Love it, love it, love it. Collaged on the back, and a little bit of. Is that what have I done with this? This. Um, this is uh, the idea is from Liz Smith from Mrs. Cog's Crafts. She's just done a, um, a video on, on embellishing embellishments and her, her paper clips, and she does this. And she got the idea, I think, from Tracy Fox. So anyway, in here, what I've done is I've picked up um, from the little book I have on Victorian living just some fun little elements. Um, how to wash corsets and something a recipe for lengthening hair uh, the art of dyeing leather gloves etc etc i just think the little illustrations are gorgeous and i just pop them in for a bit of fun and i popped in i will be doing I pop them in here? I, think I popped in some little paint snippets but maybe not so let's just pop that there for now Okay, I do have a little um, floral book and it's got some lovely little recipes that sound quite Victorian so I've just popped them in there and it was like a, a, a diary as well. From a little book about um, what to find in junk shops, I just love the illustrations so I've put a few pages in here. Vintage news, um, music paper and this is from a stamp collector's book. Lots of room for journaling. Um, the struggle I had with this bit of wallpaper, bit of coffee dyed, was that um, it needs to be a working diary um, for her. So I couldn't, um, as I said, the sort of lacy books that I've seen, journals like this. This is from an embroider a vintage embroidery book. Um, often have lots and lots of lace inside which I'd love to do maybe another project but it's going to be like a planner type thing where she needs to be able to write so I got a, a little um, little diary Victorian diary with all these beautiful pictures in uh, Victorian style diary I should say so I popped some of those in the illustrations onto a book page let's pop that like that Oh, I, have, I love the embroidery book. I shall be using that quite a lot. This is from the stamp collector's um, little um, book. But look how beautiful these uh, little illustrations are. Absolutely gorgeous. And this here, as I said, this piece of lace is from um, Craft Dreams Online. And I've just popped a little... I just found this at the end, end of a necklace and I thought that looked really nice on the end there. A little picture. 
picture that was from the uh, book of bygone days and uh, I just backed it onto some lace we're still in frame are we yeah backed it onto some lace I think is this is this still the first one that's again of the stamp collecting book it's from 1960s where you're supposed to put your stamps but it was blank and it has them you were supposed to put them in themes so that was what was really sweet again I love the way that the doily is printed onto there thought that was quite nice and left it like so that little um, Edwardian's child half size brass bedstead I loved that image and I think I've got some other oh just tip that in because that's a beautiful beautiful image and uh, I just love the way I love the colors I loved everything about it and what I did on that is I I think I popped it in the envelope and it's backed onto some of the stamperia uh, no some of my scrapbooking moved with my stash and that little edging there was from the old lace uh, a little collage there I think I might have done that did I do it on that on camera can't remember might have done but the video was uploaded I think I did actually I think I did anyway anyway a little uh, little bag here and it has this little um, oh copy of a, a Victorian magazine I think cover and I just thought that looked quite nice and that's that one well, I mean, you need to put something there don't I? I need to put something in here it's a little pocket at the back there this is the second one second one and what I've done on this um, I've actually uh, tied all the signatures in on the back rather than on the inside so it's tidy on the inside I've done it on one and maybe on two and not on the others but anyway so on this one I've just done a little can you see not collage you call it cluster cluster that's it with this uh, piece of uh, vintage necklace as well and some laces uh, underneath corner pocket with these lovely ladies tucked in lovely very stylish ladies piece of carols gorgeous um, vintage lace I think that's beautiful on the old lace uh, I did like a collage not collage uh, two so this is Tim Holtz paper and that's the old lace only because of this here and it needs to be quite sturdy and in fact that's why I did the writing board did the writing board so if for instance you've got a little bit of bumpiness going on here and you may want to write early on you put that down it gives you a little bit of a stable a stable base to write on just a little scrap uh, collage and um, that's some some oh it, I got it from a charity shop this little piece and cut it out I thought it looked lovely there and that's from that Victorian diary type thing which I've tea dyed but I just love the little motifs the little images scattered about that's the I don't know if you want a close up of that just how gorgeous is that just how beautiful is that I just in fact I've got more I've got more that I'm going to be using in some of my giveaways and some other journals that are like this that I'll be, to be selling this is from old design shop I think but I'll, I will pop it the link is down below the link is down below a bit of tracing paper oh yes I love these I had to put these in just look at those images aren't they beautiful aren't they beautiful so that's a little bit of tracing paper that's a black and white from that recipe book that's got all the herbs and flowers in which is beautiful so I'm a colour and a black and white but I just think they're lovely um a little bit of lace lining some of the pages had to um, really control myself again only because as I said it's a working journal rather than just a keepsake one so this I thought was really quite fun I've hearted it in my other video perfumed bags for drawers and how to perfume your note paper so what I've done with that is um, I've basically popped a little bit of lace on it rounded the edges and um, just inked the edges as well 
this was a little something that I found. I haven't done much with it, but I haven't. I just love that image. It's gorgeous. I'm going to sign off soon, guys. We're getting to 15 minutes. A little doily. Um, this is from my book of um, antique furniture. I thought that went really nice in there, nicely. And a little collage there. This was from the book of bygone bygone era, um, which I love. I thought it was lovely. And I've just basically backed it onto a little doily onto the back there. How beautiful is that? And that's a piece of ephemera from the um, this corset is from the old lace uh, paper pad. Again, look at the colours on these. This is all about sewing machines and washing machines, the washing machine and ringer. So, for those thoroughly modern Victorian ladies, that's what they would aspire to, I think, in their household. And uh, I love this as well. Pop that in. Book in action. It's all about etiquette for, and they're calling cards. And oh, just such a different age. And that was the last. And I popped, I've got a pocket there, which I haven't popped anything in. Don't know why. I do have some bits to pop in there. So as you can see, and I've just layered it with a little um, tea dyed, well, coffee dyed butterfly. So you've got a pocket there, Amy, for popping lots of bits and pieces in. Third signature. And I keep shaking the camera because I'm at a funny angle. Uh, third book. Um, I think guys I might just leave it here for now we're at nearly 18 minutes so let's leave it here this will be part one so part two I will do the third book the um, fourth the plain uh, book for adding and we'll also have a look at the little bag that I popped together as well so hope you've enjoyed so far um, and I'll be back take care bye bye bye